Welcome to Frontend Web Development subject. In this video, we will start with Unit 3, which deals with event handling and form handling. Let us start with event handling first. Today, in this video, we will learn about basics of event handling. What do you mean by events? How it is different from vanilla JavaScript events? How do you handle them? To start with, in React, event handling is an important aspect of creating interactive user interface. An event is an action that could be triggered as a result of the user action or system generated event. For example, a mouse click, loading of a web page, pressing a key, window resizes, right click, mouse hover, all these are interactions, which are also called as events. React has its own event handling system, which is very similar to handling events on vanilla JavaScript DOM elements. In React, event handling system is known as synthetic events. The synthetic event is a cross-browser wrapper of a browser's event. Let's create one event, basic event. Let's create a component called events. Let's try to write functional component. Return. Export. Default events. I'm ready with the template. Let's try to write a basic event in it where I would like to create a button. If I click on the button, it should get an alert. Let's try to do that. Create a button. Create a button which has click me, has a text like label or whatever you call it, click me. On clicking on this event, you know, this has to be like on click. For coming from vanilla JavaScript, all will be in the lower case, on click will be in a lower case, whereas in React, it's in camel case. It should begin with a lower case and the internal word should begin with an upper case. Usually, we'll try to call a function over here what has to be done when we click on this button, right? The similar notation here, let me have a function call or calling to a function, handle click. Let's try to write this functionality. Function or handle click should help us, handle click. Um, let's try to return something. It's an call, let me write that as in callback function. Let us write an alert. Oh no, this is going wrong. Let me do that later. Button click, button clicked. Right, so this is how it should be written. If you're not familiar with an arrow functions, please, please try to get recap of our JavaScript and try to work on it, right? Let's try to write that one. Const handle click and not this one, right over here, right? Let's try to save this function. Let's try to import that here. Events, importing that component. Heading back to the output here. Click me, you, could, you should see here, button clicked. Let's try to write more on it. One more event. Let me create a form, which will try to take an input from the user and has to be rendered on this button clicked. Instead of getting an alert, I want you to render the text what the user has given. Let us try to create 
input element input always right you might have noticed why it is throwing an error because you always has to return only one fragment input type equals to text to make it more readable let me try to put this into a new line value equals to value whatever the user is trying to type over here that has to be picking taken up here and on change is an another event which is used to take the data from the text box on input exclusively works only on the input elements on change we work on all type of an events on change like in button change or button ho hovered or um, any drop down list changed everything it it all it works on everything on change let me try to write call a function call handle change let's try to write that one so initial let me have a placeholder for this input tag placeholder type something now user will be typing over here let me save this value is not defined we know we did not handle them yet let's try to write it you know we in the last classes we learned about states let's create a state use state import it initially empty let's try to destructure this const value this is the name i would like to use set value functionality has to be update value if any changes happens in an input element right so let's try to take this part let's try to write an handle change function copy this right over here const handle change write an arrow function there let's try call the set value whatever the user has given here you know i'm what are the changes what are the type the user types over here i need to pass the data to this handle change so that it puts the value into the value how do i do that there is some that's what i was talking about synthetic event event this will try to carry the data please so to avoid confusion let me try to show you a you know click me here let us try to inspect this go to the console go to the console i would like to show you up how to read the elements now you see that i'm typing something it's trying to show an error let's try to pick it up what it is happening now like warning a component controlled input is uncontrolled so we did not handle that so let me try to before setting it let's try to log it please event console.log event let's clear this up let me type something here or else reload the page kmit you see that it is entering into the console and it is trying to put something on change is calling something called event prototype expand this you'll be seeing an event over here event target value within the value you'll be seeing the data initially it was empty later on on typing the k it has call upon the second event you know you see you can see this all of them all these are the events available on the 
synthetic event. Second time, I typed initially it was this empty space. This time I type at the K, you'll be noticing that. Go to the target, click on the value. It's an empty over here. Let's try to handle this properly, everybody. Right? Let's go back on change button um, here, event. Instead of event, let me try to print dot target dot value. Let's do this. Let me clear the everything. K, you see that? Yeah. KMIT, likewise. You know, it is not showing up the data here. This is because we are not appending that to the state. I hope you now understand well, how did I get this KMIT over here. Now, heading back here, let's try to set that data to the value. What are the value we have got there? Even dot target dot value. Let's try to append that to the state so that that will be shown on the text box. Ding back. Let's try to type one more time. K M I T. You do you see that? We still maintain that one. And here, yes. This is because on change event. On small change, it is trying to take that uh, event has occurred and put that into the K. And that event is in K typing. Likewise, everything please. Now, what did I ask? on button click i should get this data so let us have them state for our button click as well use state initially empty <coughs> let's try to destructure it um, render text comma set render text there let's try to instead of alerting that let's try to show it up so set rendered text whatever we have that in the value now let's try to show it up here after button click let us try to have a division over here which will destructure the render text All right go back let's try to close this up now type something hello kmit click me hello kmit so in this video we learned about what is event how do you handle them how it is different point, different from vanilla javascript we seen about on click and on change likewise we have many events in an react like keyboard events handling keyboard events handling mouse events handling form events all of them please one after the other we'll be looking at that in this unit see you in the next video